Good morning. This is Caddy Jack Snits, and I am Jackie. Caitlin is off hiking in the Smoky Mountains, but we have Sally and Lily here today. Good morning. A little bonus content for you all. We thought we would um, share their FOs, but it was so fun last week when Caitlin ran the show. <laughs> that was delightful. <laughs> yes, and she's going to be doing that again hope very soon because I love it because I can just sit back and heckle her. <laughs> yeah, and you can it'd be the little Jackie mm -hmm. in the phone. Yes. I love yeah. it. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. very fun. And maybe we'll see more of her house yeah. and her beautiful decorating and Absolutely. maybe James will pop in. I know, he was working on a song. Well, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe he'll have a new mm -hmm. new one for us. We can't... Did he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a new, uh, what does he call it? Uh, it's his heart. So anyways, mm -hmm. they're, they're, we hope they have a wonderful time, but we wanted to come to you today because mm -hmm. um, we have so much to share and Lily has something she has to send away. So we yeah. wanted you to get well, a chance And also, to isn't it. this like we are celebrating Lily's one year anniversary birthday um, yes. knitting? Of, of knowing how to knit. Yes, of learning yeah. how to knit. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh, well, no, and you... Okay, it was like, I gave you a little tiny piece of information, and then you just, phew. do we have any metaphor that could talk, describe I don't know. Lily's learning how to I knit? I don't know, but she is extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, you really are. Because you did not, you know, and it would be like, you got the kernels, and you know we're here, and we're always knitting, and so there's that support, mm -hmm. and there's yarns, and there's the whole thing of needles and all that, but... Because Lily comes from the generation of Googling and asking Siri and, you know, all that technological things that we didn't have when we started, she just taught herself basically, she and Google and, you know, tutorials YouTube. and YouTube. and mm -hmm. But also you have to have a beautiful talent too. I mean, I think you had the will, the talent, the love, and you love clothes Mm -hmm. wardrobe that kind of pushes your desire to have a finished object like you have on now um yeah so I mean and the eye she has and the eye. eye she has a beautiful eye mm -hmm. and so not only does she knit but she is a photographer extraordinaire I mean her Ravelry page is a treat I was lying in the hammock yesterday afternoon and I decided to meander through Lily's Ravelry site because it was her one year anniversary. And I'm just blown away by just the images, mm -hmm. you know, because they're, they're um, beautiful, the way I the yarn is those. shown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gorgeous. So that, that technique, I mean, you know, you've been taking pictures, but it gives you a, um, a focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and think, okay. I think at the time that I learned I needed something and it had something to offer me. Mm -hmm. So it was like this incredible love. <laughs> <laughs> still is. Yeah. No, we're all still needing it too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so if you're new here, we're three generations of knitters. And Caitlin and I, uh, who is not on the video today, are best friends. She's in Tennessee. We're in Madison, Wisconsin. And we just love the knitting community here online, and we're so glad to invite you into. Could you start us off, Lily, I guess, and just tell us what you're wearing since yeah. this is your, you know, beautiful... Um, I made this in March. It's Jojo Tricot's um, Stella's Pullover for Grown Ups, but I don't think I ever showed it. And it has... Make it out of the way. Oh, well, it has um, raglan shoulders. And it's so cozy to wear. It's made out of hip wool. Um, and does it have mohair in it also? Oh yeah, it's run with mohair and hip wool. So I think it's an Aran weight. And Such I love the sleeves. sleeves. Yeah. Wasn't it true before knitting that you could you it was harder for you to find ready made that had sleeves as long as you'd like them to be? Yeah, or in the bell shape that I like. Mm -hmm. Or this um, like bunched amount of fabric. Yeah, bishop maybe. Bishop, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I know. God, I can't get enough of this shape sleeve. And it's this so is soft. such a glorious color. Thank you. Everyone keeps saying that. And it, when I had made it, 
I, I guess I doubted it because it's so bright. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a shock to put on. Mm -hmm. But then it's nice to hear that everyone appreciates the color. It helps me feel like I like it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so good with blue jeans and... Uh... And I hadn't worn it yet, so it mm -hmm. was like... Yeah. I was a little uncomfortable with it still, styling it. But that's what's been so fun for all of us returning to knitting again, is getting to take, mm -hmm. I don't know, expand our image of ourselves through the, mm -hmm. through what we create. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, I wear this color. Uh, and you know, you don't always get it right. There are some objects I've made that I don't wear. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So we want to, at the end of the podcast, we have some fun announcement about Lily's birthday to share with you, but we'll, we'll hold on for, we'll hold out for okay, that. Yeah. yeah. We'll keep listening. And, <laughs> yeah. And we'll just, we'll, since we're on what we're wearing, I'll say what I'm wearing too. And I'm, I'm, I'm smiling because my high school, these were sort of our colors. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But whatever. All Your high school. Us. Oh my gosh. No, we all graduated went, from West, West High School. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, you know, speaking of West High School, we, uh, our last, I don't know, we had a giveaway and we gave away linen quill and, um, in order to receive the linen quill, you needed to write an inspirational message, something, or a, mo a p pause for a moment of gratitude. And the theme was educators or students or parents, anything that had to do with all that we are encountering right now with COVID. Mm -hmm. And I asked one of our um, viewers if I could share what she wrote, and I just thought I would share that here. Her name is Erin Ryan, and she said this. She said, we will all look back on this time in history as a time of great unearthing, a time of digging deep into ourselves, past the worry, the doubt, and the fear to find what we did not know we had inside. We each have a little well of courage to help us stand a little taller and reach a little higher on days when life seems impossibly sad or infuriatingly cruel. To all the parents, teachers, students, and support staff that are taking brave steps each day to show up for one another, keep digging. In the words of Nelson Mandela, remember that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. With open hearts, keep digging, keep learning, and keep changing. Ooh. Yeah, that was from That's Aaron. Beautiful. Thank you, Aaron, for mm -hmm. sharing that. And if you, um, and anyone can go back and read those messages, they were so inspiring. But we're all in the midst of learning online, but let me go back to the sweater. But we all graduated from West High School. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. And and we have, one of my sons is at West right now, learning online. So there you have it. And struggling away with yes. learning online. So yes. yes. And we, we can talk about that in a minute, mm -hmm. but we're going to just stick, we're to, gonna go to, stick sweaters. to what okay. I'm wearing. Because I you know, love. Ooh. So this is this yarn is Julie Asselin's Melange Number no. One? I have completely forgotten the color name. Do you is know it? Because you used it. It was cobalt. cobalt. Okay, mm -hmm. it's cobalt, and this is Poetria. Um, so Mara Lisa, the the yarn is from my dear friend Margaret, and she and I both knit blue sweaters together, and. She suggested I knit this as a healing piece in a time in my life. And so she got me this yarn from Firefly Fibers and she knit a sweater in the same color. So this is the Poetria. I made mine a little shorter and it's by um, Sari Norland, who I discovered through Mara Lisa of Girl Meets Yarn. But here it is. Oh, I, I just it. have it tucked oh, in. I did the helical knitting. I've shown this to you before, but I don't think I've actually gotten to wear it yet because it was summer. And this wool, the melange um, number one, is merino, yak, and I don't remember. It's incredibly soft. It's incredibly it? soft. I wish mm. I had the tag, but fortunately, I it's have my. Like, yeah. Oh, it. Oh, the, the tag, tag is in my pattern. Mm -hmm. Wait, look at how 
Look at oh, I noticed look it. at that. I do try to stay organized and it benefits me sometimes. So here's the color cobalt. Oh, and it's 75% merino, 25% yak. That is such a lovely <laughs> idea. Yes, I do that. And then I, you know, so that when I forget, I have a little credit. bit of the yarn and the tag right in there too. Wow. And I also put it on Ravelry. Great idea. And I absolutely love putting my patterns in plastic sheet protectors. Mm -hmm. um, so there you have it. That was good. Um, yeah, so I loved this and I did do helical knitting and I, you know, the collars, one of these folded over collars. Mm. If somebody has any idea how you do helical knitting in pattern, I just sort of, you know, did my best. So I tried to stay in seed stitch and all of that, but sometimes, oh, it's beautiful. but it is lovely and I'm very happy to be wearing it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a gorgeous color on you. Thank you. I think thank when you. the yarns came in, when um, from Firefly, yeah, we remember she sent us them. everything. This was the one I was just drawn to, and we had to send them back, of course. Mm -hmm. And I think we kept, didn't we? We because, kept quite a few. Yeah, because I couldn't part with that. So uh, that'll be later that I can show mm -hmm. you that I actually. Yeah, did. and I knit with that at the time. I knit. Um, the natural gray, I knit the Astrogal. Astrogal, and I still have just the natural, I have a cone of that to knit a white horse. Because for our second sweater cow, which is closed now, but we should just have it forever, I personally think. <laughs> Another round, and I wanna thank again, um, the Knot House for donating yarn for the giveaway. And I hope that our um, winner of that giveaway, she'll post what she made with it or post her yarn. Because we'd love to see it. We just love seeing oh, you know, projects, you know, projects else's and, mm -hmm. and how this community, and mm -hmm. we'll get to the half wrap cow because that's been mm -hmm. oh, fabulous. But you do have a little something on too from oh. the making community, don't you? Do, have you ever shown that? Do you want to step I in there know. and show it? Okay. This is a little pendant and it's a ceramic. It has a written peaceful on the bottom Nobody of it. Can see. Okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, there. It's just an adorable little bird. And I got this from Lily as my birthday present from Lily. One of, you know, the things. And it's a woman. Erin's window is what her Etsy shop is and her Instagram. And she's um, in Australia. Mm -hmm. I have many, many, many beautiful little ceramic pieces that she's done. They're very beautiful ephemeral spiritual kind of images so check her out there you know this just exquisite and I love this little bird because it reminds me of Lily and it feels so much love right there and I love birds so I'm enjoying it there we go and I guess I guess we're on the theme of finished objects mostly finished objects right so let's just carry on with that theme and when you stood up mom we spied one Will you just stand up again so we can keep spying it? You just stand right over there for a second. Oh, camera. yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Lily, can you tell us about this glorious piece? Yeah. So a while ago I shared that this kaleidoscope pullover was a work in progress for me. But I, um, I finished it the other day in terms of all the edges and lengthening the sleeves because the short sleeves look like football player on me. Mm -hmm. And um So you have like half length sleeves. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. probably about like uh halfway to the elbow. Mm -hmm. Which I liked a lot because it's a little warmer but it falls a little flat all the mm -hmm. Yeah. And all I have left really is to weave in more ends on the inside, which I just do a little bit each day. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, the other thing I have to do is um, go mining for some daisies in one of the knit collage I have left, and then I'll stick them in. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lily has coined a new term for knit collage, which I think we should all use now, which is popping daisies, <laughs> which is when your daisies are on the inside and you pull them to the front of your sweater. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So knit collage has a fall knit along too that- um, Should I sit down? Yeah, you can sit down yeah. now. 
And you'll have on your project there. page. There. Okay. Just move back. That's there so you go. Pretty. There you go. Yes. All the colors you used. And what's yeah. what's so fun is we have a friend who likes to make multiple kaleidoscopes, almost like um. Uh, well, the way you make quilts like too. Like weekenders. Well, no, no. She oh. in, she collects the leftovers from friends and puts them in. Oh, right. so so they have yeah. a story. Yeah, they have a story, and we need to send this off too because one of our viewers sent this. Thank you again, Lily used it. I used it. And then, yep. Yeah, and then um, it's so beautiful. Yeah, Ooh. isn't this beautiful? Mm -hmm. And then it's sparkly. You yeah. can't really see that, but. It's got sparkles in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll send it to Caitlin. I think this one's called Love Cloud. Oh, this is? Okay. Love Cloud, yes. So. so off to Caitlin. Um, yes, but the fall, uh, Nicolaj's fall knit along, they announced the voting and then they'll say October 1st what the actual garments are. So we can't wait for that. And then, um, you know, I think the cow starts, you know, sometime in the beginning of October around I, I'm looking there's videos that go up yeah well the styles will be announced and we'll be talking about it October 1st to see which ones but hopefully you got to vote oh my gosh I'm just remembering that the last time we were on we had this it is just so glorious so <laughs> anyways this is what I mean I just I love the fact that somebody you know that this is going through all of our lives. This, and it passes through us all. Yeah, so, and so mm -hmm. much is like that in knitting. So that is fantastic. Um, great, and let me just turn it over to you because you have an exquisite finished object too in yes. knitting land. Yes, when I was waiting for the spark yarn to come, I didn't have anything that it was quilting. And on. why are you saying spark yarn? What what is spark yarn? It's uh, anti Maori's about? cardigan spark, spark, and I was oh. waiting for the, you know, to the colors to come together before I okay. put it on. Okay. And then I decided to wait with doing a sweater because I don't have the mental capacity. mental capacity to do that right now. The thinking. So yeah, the thinking. So I decided to do a stash um, shawl. Yeah, let's, mm -hmm. we can go to the first. We'll, how about we do it in order of what you right. add in your stash? And so it's very fun. It's like a, um, it's called Fog Line. Here, just let me reach this. So I can give the designer a do. Brianne Moody, right? Bless you. Yeah, that's it. So I don't even need to pull that up. Fog Line, and it's Fog Line is all one word. So it's basically just taking a grid pattern and this is that beautiful yarn that you have on, except in licorice, I think. Is yeah, that the name I of think this? It's licorice. Yeah. yeah. So that's licorice. And then I had licorice go over this beautiful um, homespun house yarn. I think we showed some of this. Yeah, last I think we time. did because I was working on it. Because I'm having deja vu. Yeah. I didn't recognize. I didn't know it was slip stitch last yeah, time. Yeah. And it's just. And this look is at this. where you left off. This yeah. is how far you were. And now. Yes, and then fortunately for me, we got to this part, and you know the color of that. That's a Chardonnay. firefly. It's Julia Lane, Lazu DK. I made my party top out of it. Right, and I love that color so much that so I was I. going to just do stash, but I had to send a quick SOS over to Firefly. To Elisa. Elisa. Help. And she sent me another skein of it so I could finish that. And then here we join Jackie. Yes, yeah, I had to... I had two of these left of, of skeins of this. And it took almost two of these to do what I'm doing. It's kind of, it's over a, this is a Tolt Yarn sis, Big Sister, is it? Or, it's Yoth. Yoth. Yeah, and it's Oyster. And oyster. this is left over from my white horse. Yeah, so it's just so fun. Mm -hmm. So it's like a story in a, you know, this is like a quilt practically. So we have to show how Sally, the different ways to style because this it turned enormous out. thing. Oh my goodness. It okay, was so stand looking. up, Sally. Yes. So she has a couple ways that she's. Yeah, I'm not even out. five feet anymore. Wait, I don't think. Okay. Time. So having an eight foot, it feels like, isn't this like an eight foot? You have to squat because there's the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can yes. See isn't it. this just beautiful? And I wish you could oh, feel it. It is such a sponge and a, you know, so you can put it on in that various, way. You know, 
for you all look these. Amazing. I yeah, love. it looks stunning. And it I just know. it oh has gosh. such a like a you can fling it. Yeah. Yeah. Fling it. Oh, and you then could look put at a shawl pin. Yeah, you could put a shawl oh, pin. Oh, we're gonna have to get a. Um, <sighs> let's make our little screenshot. <laughs> I think like I don't know where to look though, but <laughs> whatever. And we'll just hi. go and hi. We'll look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. I and love it, it. It feels just exquisite. So anyway, this is. This was perfect COVID knitting because once you figured out how to do this, the grid thing, then it was just having color under under my hands. There wasn't any thinking about. Well, you can tell your quilt quilting experience and use of color, obviously. Oh yeah, it just you was just like I could just because this is my soldatna leftovers, and you know, it just so many. It's it's a DK weight, and it's just up. Oh, it's luscious. And when you wear it, you could throw whichever color yeah. you want predominantly on the right. front. Can we right. all try it on? Yes, you can all. That's what I, <laughs> I said, is that this okay. is something. All right, there was one way to wear it, so she put it, oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right, Lily, your turn. My turn? Yep. Do you want me to get out of the way here? Sure, you can. I'll sit down. Okay. Okay, I want to sit back okay. there. I want to be in my all spot. All right, sorry, we're just, you know. We're shuffling. Yeah. So can I wear it the same way? Sure, or? of course. We're just, this is the wrong side, you know, right? Okay. It's still beautiful, it's still beautiful on the wrong side. That's true. Oh, Lily, it's beautiful on you, too. See, it's like you can just take whichever color you want. And yeah, and oh. it's like one of those, like, Ooh, in the I winter time. I like it with this sweater. Isn't yeah. that just gorgeous? Yeah. Oops. It was such an unexpected... Um, so you have no FO photos at this point, no, and no project page on Ravelry. But no, so we'll I've remedy been, that. Yeah, we'll get, get after on me. Sally. I've it got some pretty pictures. Stunning. Oh my goodness, Lily, wow. that's gorgeous. This is a and whole outfit. And you guys outfit. can borrow it anytime. <laughs> yes, it you, is. You can borrow it's an it anytime outfit. you want. Maybe I even have pink shoes on. So. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Shoe oh. cam. Shoe cam. That is gorgeous. Okay, very I'm good. Sure with your okay, clothing. my turn. Sorry. <laughs> Like, you know, okay. Well, so I would probably, we were talking about this other way, like you do when you have a big scarf. It's not like this is my preferred way, but you know when you have a big scarf and you do that? Yeah, because that would be easy to manage. We were saying you like could just go like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And you just have this little glory. Oh, my God. This oh, and my. And the earrings come out. Oh, yeah. Get it the doesn't pop. Have oh, feel yeah, it feels amazing. So someday I'm gonna have to. Wear yeah, this. you can wear okay. that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All wow. Right. Yeah. Okay. This is good, it's a Mom. I think since we're so coord. Oh, never mind. I was gonna put it on the dress form, but no. I will. Oh, you should just wear it. Well, Sally should probably just wear it, right? It is a little chilly over here. Oh, okay. We'll put. It Look at yeah. that. So Whoa. good. All right. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> Okay, you won't. I won't say the words I'm thinking right now. Oh, okay. Caitlin, you'll be so proud of me. I just censored. She's censored. Okay. I censored. Um, but now I'm curious. It's I'm stunning. just going to flap it around. It has Ooh. something to do with self pleasuring with oh. Mary. <laughs> okay. But, anyways, okay. okay, come on closer, mm -hmm. Lily. All right, so you have to all be on camera. Yes. That's amazing. Okay, and you have a. The whole, this have... podcast is brought to you by something. But what were you going to say? Brought to us by what? Um, well, the urgency to record today oh, right. by your next FO. Because right. I'm shipping away my final oh, FO. Yes. And there's the microphone, so you're going to talk right into it okay. with all the details. Because sometimes you are, sometimes you are. Yeah, you we have, have to, to get her something? over. Yes. <laughs> Let's get her over farther. Okay. okay. This was the second project I knit for Marlisa Yost the owner of Knits and Needles Yarn Boutique in West Virginia. And this is Waiting for Rain in all its glory with oh, I, lace it's pants. Really this beautiful. is such a, I love these colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Yeah, look, you're going to have to and try this on, Jackie, because I, I this is you, definitely... May I model it while you... Yeah, okay. I'm going to look up who made it, who designed it. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely a Jackie color. Okay, there we go. Oh, gorgeous. Like, I wonder if you can do this in the little woman style. So, this was this Anzula. Anzula Vera. Mm -hmm. Vera. And, oh, it's um, so beautiful. The pattern is designed by Soft Sweater. Okay. So you can see all the lace. 
I saw her name somewhere, but I, it would be on my pattern. Yeah, and we'll um, link everything mm -hmm. for yeah. you. Okay, and, oh, and what did Jackie. you think of knitting mm -hmm. this? I actually, it went really quickly, and the lace panels were a lot of fun for me. Mm -hmm. I will say that um, I was given the pattern in a written form. Oh, that's um, right. And when I'm I got to the lace panels, right. something wasn't going right. I think I'm more visual when Do it you comes want this to... so you can talk about that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm playing with it. You're fine. It looks okay. beautiful on you. Okay. Um, so that. what I was getting to is that finding the charted pattern was more helpful for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, because yeah. Because these are lace short rows, and having 25 lace short rows, it was hard to read in words. Yeah. So. Can I interrupt just a moment? Yeah. Remember, this is Lily's one year knitting yeah, anniversary. Yeah, exactly. And she's talking about lace short rows, which I have never <laughs> even thought about attempting. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, bravo, bravo. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, thank you to everyone who um, wished me a happy knitting birthday. That was really sweet of you. And I'm going to write back to you each personally. I haven't yet. Oh, that's Aww. sweet of you. All right, um, there we go. But yeah, did you guys notice how the bottoms curl? Oh, wear? I love that when you do That's A lot of my Andrea Maoris do that, too. You have oh, to pull it up just you, a little higher. Oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. Isn't really that... sometimes not those? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah, cute. It's very beautiful. Love it. Yeah, I think I'd even make it. I saw someone who made it in um, two different colored yarns and like faded into the other. And it was beautiful. It was kind of like a sunset, wasn't it? On a beach. It was, it was like beautiful. blue into gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think I would make it again simply because I don't wear this color as much. I'd make it in right. the color I would wear. Right. That's mm -hmm. hand dyed. So you would, and you wouldn't have known that pattern if a viewer hadn't reached out. Yeah. And said, I see talent and <laughs> engaged you. Mm -hmm. um, I want to, thanks. Well, yeah. And even she said that if I lived near her, I could work in her boutique. And I was like, dang, <laughs> I would live there mm -hmm. <laughs> to work for you. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. But, anyways, yeah, it's coming to you soon, Marlisa. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm just going to talk about this really quick. Mom, tell talk us about, about this. Well, this was yesterday. <laughs> this is a winter luxury pumpkin. It's a pie pumpkin. And, yet, you know, this is an annual event. Uh, Jamie goes to the farmer's market and hunts down these pumpkins. No. Yeah. And they are... They're kind of like a little ugly pumpkin, but they're so... Oh. Well, you know what I mean. They're not compared to... They have this yeah. little crinkly flesh. Yeah. And, yeah. and anyway... To us, they're not ugly because we know what they mean. Yes. And so yesterday, she happened to... You know, in the time of COVID farmer's markets, this isn't as easy. But she found and pre-ordered 10 winter luxury pumpkins. So yesterday, I my job is to process them. I have to hack them all up boil them for, you know, it seems like 15, 20 minutes or something until the flesh is soft. Put that, you know, aside until it cools, then scoop that out, then take those things, put them through the food processor so they're more pureed, and then put them into freezer bags, four cups plus in a freezer bag, and that makes two pies. So there, I made six seven bags yesterday which would be 14 pies or breads and you know, or or chocolate you know pumpkin chocolate chip muffins thank you meg for saying that yes so anyway <laughs> i have half of them done it took about three and a half hours to do that thank I, you mom yeah i was going to do all of them but then at some point i decided well I will be doing this until 8.30 or something yeah. like that at night. So I decided to leave some of them. But we did run off some recipes, or Jamie did that. And oh. Jamie, you, and you watch this, thank you so much, because you are what makes this happen. Yeah, she's our market girl. She is the market girl, and Joe, the youngest grandson, looks forward to this every year. Mm -hmm. It's his favorite pie. Mm -hmm. He absolutely adores them. I think I may get him on the other half of this process. Oh, but Jamie's apple pie, you guys. Yeah, oh, no, that was good. My goodness yeah we've had two of those now yeah we? yeah and they are amazing we should 
We should bring up her pie po cookbook one of these days, the one that she loves. But the Foster's Market is the pumpkin muffin recipe. Well, we have two recipes that we adore here. We have two? the, yeah, because the tried and true muffins, it's Foster, it's the pumpkin muffins. This is the, you know, the oh. Martha Stewart, you go, oh, but and we absolutely nice. love it. It's the pumpkin bread from Martha Stewart's um, Simply Baked Goods Baking Handbook. And that, that pumpkin bread is just out of this world. Yeah. But the pumpkin muffins comes from fresh every day, breakfast for any time, Foster's Market. I think it's just fresh every day, Foster's mm -hmm. Market. Thanks, Sally. And their pumpkin muffins, we just add chocolate chips to to make it over the We've top. become a baking podcast. Yes, too, we have. I think do, Sally's earned some bragging rights after all of that yeah. pumpkin processing. Oh, I know. And it's just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I did that and then... Jackie knit, <laughs> but for a reason. But for a we'll reason. Okay, that. we'll get to that later. Really? And then Jamie and Lily, oh. while I was doing this, I wish we had a picture of that. But they Ooh. took Those a are not good pictures. No. complete. No, I'm talking about the wood. Oh, okay. They took a. Is it a cord of wood or they stacked a stacked a cord of wood? Yeah. Yes, I stacked it. She yeah. it to me. Yeah, yeah. they had a beautiful yeah. Lily, the women rock. rock. She's powerful. Yeah, because usually we wait around for our, our guy power, but they weren't around. And who needs them? Yeah, who <laughs> needs them is right. Those two ladies, they rocked it. Yes, yeah. so Ooh. that was nice. So anyway, so we've got. Wood ready for fires, and we'll have pumpkin in the freezer. And I guess since we're on the topic, we also have purple Viking potatoes. So oh yes, mashed potatoes. So oh, we'll my. be doing all the comfort eating. Oh, we have we lots planted. of potatoes. Lots of comfort mm -hmm. eating is going to happen. And a butt roast. <laughs> okay. Is, yeah. Anyway, we won't go into that. Let's we'll... talk about the half rat cow now. <laughs> now that Sally's just taken us into the gutter. <laughs> well, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong well, with a I, pork butt roast. No, but anyway, whatever. Okay. It's all good. Um. Okay, so let's see. The half wrap. Oh my goodness. Okay, so do you ladies want to show your colors? Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I brought Jamie's along, her other. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Yeah, okay. Oh, so my sister you're... Jamie is going to be participating too. And this week, um, Pearl Soho had new colors even. And oh. we. We um, restrained ourselves, but it was very, very, very hard. But this she is... did order her other hat. Oh, did she? Yes, oh, she did. Oh, what is her other hat? It's a bright orange, but I don't remember. Super orange? Oh, no, I think she it's said. No, it's the pop. Red poppy? Red poppy. Oh, Red poppy. Oh, well, I have that right here. Yeah, that's what she's doing. She's doing this. Yes, because those are two of her favorite, favorite colors. colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very Jamie. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Okay. And, and I had originally gotten the blue to go with the salt and pepper, which is lovely, but it wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. So then Jackie said, huh, how about pink pop? Expand your oh, color. Expand my color. So, so much. That's, that's what beautiful. I'm doing. This was mine, but like I, I, yeah, I know. share. Yeah. Look we're... at the way it shows mm -hmm. up on camera. They, so... Look what happens like. Oh yeah, it like just brings. Oh my gosh! Look like how it think brings it's in so that. good together. Mm -hmm. So yes. this is pink pop and uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. We were going to have a cast on Friday night, but we were we too will, sad. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, much like Caitlin, yes. I do oh, so good. Oh, I love that. Pink pop. pop so pink. good. Mm -hmm. wow. Yep. They're so rich. Yes. They are incredible. It's and the yarn is. You want to tell them the fiber content. If they hadn't heard this yet, like yeah, we talked like, yeah, about it ad nauseum we've been forever. Sleeping. But we so love. People have been posting on Instagram half wrap cow, and we put a thread in Ravelry. So thank you to everybody who's mm -hmm. gathering around this because it is such soothing knit. Oh, and it's such a. And we have a year to knit it. We're going to finish them up. I have the first half done this year, and then the second half. I have a whole year to get the second half done. I'll show your second half. I mean, isn't that she was just? Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is fifty percent fine Highland wool, thirty-five percent alpaca, and fifteen percent linen. Yeah. Look at the linen in there. Yeah, 
And you don't have to use the linen quilt to participate in the half wrap, Cal. Um, it's just that we love it. We're just on a hype. Yeah, we're just mm -hmm. on a upset. We are. So this is, um, I did it all wrong. So before, I didn't even read the instructions. I think we already went over this. I just assumed I was doing it right. But when you switch colors, you want to make sure that you're creating a 90 degree angle. Right. So just if you, as long as you do this, you will be fine. And we created a video explaining how it worked. We made a little mini blanket. And I'm glad that happened to you because I would have been crushed if I had, yeah. like, what were you in your second? Uh, I had knit basic, I have knit, I would be done by now for yeah. sure with mm -hmm. all, you know, but I have to say it's been such a profoundly stressful time for me. And that knit has still been soothing and comforting mm -hmm. nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And it didn't bother me because it was just like, I love what I'm doing. So it was okay. And it's not, don't be intimidating because it's not hard. It's that it was purely just, well, you just stress, not yeah. focus. Yeah. 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 And which color are you going to start out with, Lily? I think I'm going to start out with rhubarb. Because Ooh, that's pretty. my thinking is as it becomes winter and we move into it being darker, I'd like to have the light color come in then mm -hmm. at that point. Well, yes. that's going to be fun because if we, I think you probably knit faster than I do because I'm going to start with salt and pepper. Okay. So you and I will be pink popping on the second half. On the second half, yeah. Together. So, yeah, yeah, together. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. I love the color on you because the pink I don't often ever see on you. Right. Yeah. 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 And yeah. we have glorious wind coming in. I hope the blind sound isn't bothering you. Oh, yes. Beautiful. It's, yeah. That's so that's funny. so much fun. And I stopped working on it a little bit. I can't really show you much of this, but I'll just show you a little that um, I'm doing a test knit. There, I showed that much of it. And for Moonstruck Knits, and it's with Linen Quill as well. So that's pretty exciting. So I paused on doing the half wrap cow mm -hmm. and worked on this, um, much like the Lune shawl, you know, there's um, mosaic knitting and it's so much fun. And it feels glorious. Mm, so, it does. And the color palette of Linen Quill is now 55 colors. Wow. I yeah. did treat myself to one of their baskets that aren't, that Pearl Soho has them, and it folds in half down in there. It will be twice as tall, and there's handles, which is really nice because I've always been, admired my mother's baskets. Thanks, Mom. So it's nice because I have a giant basket of Linen Quill to walk around with. Right, and I have my baskets back. And you, yes, and I stopped snitching your basket. Because mm -hmm. I'd find, yeah, if I wasn't in an active project, it sometimes disappeared. <laughs> Can I That's show what true. I want to make next? Yes. Well, I'm still working on um, Maritimo, the little Caitlin Hunter Italian top. Did you bring that down? Yeah. Oh, right. great. Well, here's my work in progress, and then I'll show you what I want to make okay. next. For now, we have about probably onto the boob now. And you're finally knitting for yourself again. I know. And oh, that's I just be so love cute, all the speckles. Just look at that. And it's going to grow and open even more. Yeah. Oh, the lace will just be earrings. magnificent. Yeah. I don't know that I'll wear it anytime soon because it's short sleeve, but maybe I will. Yeah. Under a, a blazer. And the, the surrey in there is from Chelsea Yarns. Oh, it was yes. a gift from Christina. From Christina. And the, the striping um, bordering the lace pockets is oh, yeah. Mr. Pocket. Which was from, left over from my... From your serious mm -hmm. Yeah. And, in fact, my next project when oh. I finish that, I'd oh. like to make the Seriously Holy. Oh, yes. Out of um, Paul Newman from Farmer's Daughter Fiber's Moon Sisters. I and forgot about it's like this. This is the one that has the oh yes, stellina. beautiful. Yeah, but this yarn has bronze stellina in it. Yeah, and then the surrey that I would use a long time ago this year, I planned on making the sorrel or sorrel. I think it's sorrel. I think mm -hmm. we finally discovered. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I purchased um, Surrey to be my mohair with my fade, and I ended up using the fade for what the fade, and this was too fuzzy anyway for that. So this will be my complimenting Surrey. Yeah, is that La Bienname? La Bienname's um, Kumo. In Gosh, that'll be beautiful. Mm. Bois de Rose. Mm. De Rose. So that's what you're thinking next? Yeah. Nice. And we just have our, oh, we're going to have our... I have just... I know. God, isn't it wonderful to yarn. be a knitter? I know. <laughs> what is. did you do before you had yarn and color all the time? It's so fantastic. Or sad, maybe? Mm -hmm. So you have a, a dream knitting? Yeah, uh, I'm And I have a work in project. Okay, dream on knitting. Grass. Well... This is in the spirit of trying to use up, um, I, I, have you ever seen this? yes, I over purchased, um, Heron or Arbor. I, this is so, what is this? You. Brooklyn Tweed Arbor that I've got, um, some like Firefly fibers. And I think I was going to make a much bigger sweater than what I ended up doing with Soldatna and I didn't need as much of this. So I used this in my fog line shawl, and then I still had enough left over to make it tempting. Jackie said, oh, I've got this gorgeous shawl pattern that you might like, and it is gorgeous. The Euclid. Oops. There's a picture right there. Yep. It's, it's just gorgeous. It'll be, an arbor will pick up all of that work mm -hmm. all of that stitched That's up so, so well so that'll be like you know a little bit more mental made out of hair yeah yes. and so i just needed to get a few more skeins of it because but what a great right. basic accessory that that will always be Right. No, I think that's going to be gorgeous. And I don't know when I'm going to get, but at least I know that my five skeins of heron will be put to something beautiful. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So exactly. that's what that's going to be. So um, I want to end with the project I'm doing with Caitlin. So do you want to talk about quilts? Quilting? Quilting, quilting. Okay. So yeah, we can kind of just show what happens with... This is... Um, Lily's quilt that I'm making for her that we showed last time, but it's basically made with the leftover fabric pieces that I had cut for making masks. And I'm not going to show it. All. No, you don't have to show it all. It's basically just a brick pattern. I took the pieces of fabric that I cut for masks and I sliced them lengthwise, put put two colors together to reflect the fact that my masks are always two different fabrics. They're two sided. And we have had, that's been kind of a, oh, a silver lining to wearing masks is we might as well have pretty ones and I have all this gorgeous fabric. And right. so it's kind of with the four of us ladies, when we go any place, it's always the, what mask am right. I going to wear? We have a basket of them and right. they're kind of fun. Right. Will you grab the three that are right under your yarn? Right. So we just, you know, it has become like a fashion. We all have yeah. these now. Yeah, we all. You know, like. Yeah, everybody has, you know, what masks are they wearing. These so are this, my favorites. Yeah, this so summer. these quilts are, this quilt is going to be Lily's Thank quilt um, that just. But I remember last time you were talking about how you were going to do the back. Yeah, the back is always made with bigger pieces, but it incorporates some of the front. So it's like having a two-sided quilt. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a two-sided quilt. And it has her favorite, that Liberty of London fish swirl in pinks, large swaths of that. So that'll become just beautiful. There's a lot of really pretty, this is a Pearl Soho Simply Cotton, I think it is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm okay. sorry, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that, that and the yellow are Pearl Soho Simply Cotton. They're beautiful. It's almost like a muslin-y with these subtle colors. So that's going to be on a cotton batting. I've got everything set to base that, and I just need to get it on a large surface and a lot of time and mm -hmm. a lot of effort to get it to the point where I can hand quilt this winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lily might even learn how to do some of this. Mm -hmm. So what this piece is, and we can just show it briefly, this is just in these days I have been trying to finish up things that I have this is a quilt that I did in, in the early 90s, I think. 
and it was called the web of life and Look at I, all the quilting. I bound it a while ago yeah this was my first like take it was a very simple web pattern and then i did doodle freeform quilting very densely quilted and it used to be something that was almost like a king size bed quilt that was unfinished and i freed this part from the quilt that would never get done and I never really mm -hmm. this is my favorite part mm -hmm. and so just for a memory for myself of a good time when Jamie lived up in Minneapolis mm -hmm. and these are fabrics that we would buy together I decided to take a little piece of it and finish so that got done and I love it nice um then underneath here I finished a little piece that I'm doing as a pair. That's what it looks like when they're all done. Oh, that's so oh, beautiful. Like very subtly. And I love the back. Yeah, I've never seen is a this fabric. Of London. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> I love that that's fabric. That's beautiful. That is so gorgeous. many colors. I love this whole thing. Yeah, this one is really stunning. Yeah, so this... Jamie actually had a chance to get to Door County, so she brought me a couple she of Door bring you this? No, she didn't bring me that. Some of the ones on the I front oh. she brought me from Door yeah. County. Nice. And here's here's before it oh, gets quilted. The... This is the, the companion piece. And that little Japanese fabric with the dragonflies goes way back to when oh, yeah. Heron was a baby. baby. You know, mm -hmm. even longer than that. And mm -hmm. some of the drop wow, cloth so fabric so there'll up. be a pair wow that all will be color so that's Beautiful. those are stunning those are about, and if you don't know if you're new she, sally has a she has a sewing podcast that she hasn't updated in a like long time it's okay and, and an etsy and an etsy, etsy shop. shop yeah so sally journey see. quilts yes those are beautiful thank you for sharing those i'm sorry i get feisty Oh, I oh, wanted to, to share. Get well, no, I. What it was is, sometimes, I wanted them to see what you were talking oh, about, right. not you. And I get confused as yes. the camera. It's all right, yes. people. She loves me. I love her. <laughs> no problem. Um, I didn't show this last time. This was from Lily for my birthday. It's so beautiful. It's a little project bag with drawstrings like I that. I love it. And little. I think, like it's just a fun. All-purpose bag too yeah. like with a little bucket. so cute so it's anyway, adorable it would hold a small project I love the painting bag. where did you get it Lily from do it's you remember Etsy. but you don't know the name of the shop sorry um, to put you on the spot it's from Ukraine I think okay you look well I can mm. um so any other things in the, the making no, okay. that's it. That okay. quilt basting Lucy is going to be major. Okay. What is it called? Lucy Sewing. L U S I S U W I N G. Okay. In Ukraine. Nice. And she has so many um, knitting bags, project bags, and then also some mask holders. Mm -hmm. Little okay. mask pouches and um, Oh, so when you bags. slip them in your purse or your knitting bag and. Yeah. You don't get your mohair oh, all over your mask. Yes, which I do, I've mm -hmm. done a million times. I mean, mm -hmm. I said she, but I'm not sure. It's just Lucy okay. sewing. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to share a brief story for, for, for what it's worth because we've gotten so many lovely um, messages from people mm -hmm. who view the podcast and have just found it like a nice interim in their days of these are hard days right mm -hmm. and I wanted to thank those of you who've reached out and those of you who haven't of course you're all thanked and welcome too. you know this is mm -hmm. our gift to you and um, and I just was thinking back uh, about uh, I wanted to share a poem and I hope it's right behind me I think it is yeah anyways you know I've experienced other times in my life where I had very intense trauma and um, and this was not one of those times, but I was reflecting back. My father is has passed. He um, died over 10 years ago. But when I was in sixth grade, he went into recovery for alcoholism. So we as a family have been around um, AA our whole lives and Al-Anon and, mm -hmm. and those 12 steps. Um, 
my sister and I sort of revised them, revived them for ourselves recently, and we use them over and over, especially the first three. Um, just this whole notion of um, feeling powerless and what to do about that and how to surrender to whatever is happening. And it's been an ongoing dialogue that has been so helpful. And I was thinking back to actually a time in my life where it was not one day at a time, it was like, oh, one moment at a time, mm -hmm. it was that hard. And I got to spend some time with someone who ran the UW's Mindfulness Meditation Program, and she was amazing. And she offered me a, a session, and she offered, and she had me come up with an image for myself that would give me comfort. And what it was is everything was coming at me, and I felt like I was wave after wave. Like when you're, I've been caught in a riptide before. It's an incredibly unpleasant. You could, right. you could obviously very unpleasant, and you can't control it. Mm -hmm. And then she guided me to this image of, of floating on the water and floating on the water and be and and, I, and for me I, would, I was holding hands with my mother my grandmother and my sister and we could just be in that storm and just float on the water and so that has always been important to me just that shift and I encountered in this book um, this is a book about um, by Richard Rohr who I love and there was a poem in the beginning of it about that was written by a I believe a nun and it's called breathing underwater and it's a different metaphor about water and breath but I will say uh, I've just been returning to it again and again and I wanted to share it here with you so um, the author I should try to find her name Carol Bialock and uh, it's called breathing underwater I built my house by the sea not on the sands, mind you, not on the shifting sand, and I built it of rock, a strong house by a strong sea, and we got well acquainted, the sea and I, good neighbors. Not that we spoke much, we met in silences, respectful, keeping our distance, but looking our thoughts across the fence of sand, always the fence of sand, our barrier, always the sand between. And then one day, I still don't know how it happened, the sea came, without warning, without welcome even. Not sudden and swift, but a shifting across the sand like wine, less like the flow of water than the flow of blood, slow but coming slow but flowing like an open wound and I thought of flight and I thought of drowning and I thought of death and I thought of flight and I thought of drowning and I thought of death and while I thought the sea crept higher till it reached my door and I knew then there was neither flight nor death nor drowning that when the sea comes calling you stop being neighbors, well acquainted, friendly at a distance, neighbors, and you give your house for a coral castle, and you learn to breathe underwater. And you learn to breathe underwater. And I feel like that's what a lot of us <laughs> are learning right now, how to breathe underwater or exist in circumstances that are out of our control, that are so hard. And so, um, I just want to offer the, you know, that these paradoxical tools like breathing and silence that don't seem very powerful are very, very powerful and very helpful. And uh, I'm just, I'm so grateful for it. And I, and I honestly like this is my teaching journal and these are the four things I have in the front and I'm offering them to you as tools that you might like too. Um, it says, we suffer to get well, we surrender to win, we die to live, and we give it away to keep it. And I think we're in times like that. We are in very challenging, paradoxical, hard times. And uh, 
We have our knitting, we have our half and half wet cow, we have each other, we have these connections, mm -hmm. but we want to acknowledge that too, that, you know, we just want to, and here we are together in this moment, so thank you for spending this moment with us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it means a lot. And so uh, I want to shift into a little... Yes, a little different, a little exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of excitement. <clears throat> so, um, honestly, these last weeks have been so hard, and I haven't had the capacity to think about knitting for Rhinebeck. I mean, that's why we have the half half wrap cow. We're knitting for Rhinebeck 2021, but. Um, we were, I was watching Dinah on the Knitting Place, and I was watching Amy on the Mending Stitch, and they were both yeah. so excited about the Letho cardigan. Mm -hmm. And and Dinah was talking about how Christy Glass is putting up the videos where everybody can contribute a video of a sweater that they made this past year in landscape. In landscape. <laughs> in yes. landscape like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not portrait. Anyways, and I didn't, I just, it, it was the whole like uh, serendipity of coming together. So Dinah was, and Caitlin, we were, we were admiring what Dinah was doing. And then she's like, I have this yarn. Let me, let me share it with you. So yesterday, um, we, I received in the mail a huge bag of this wool folk far and this is color um, 28 and Dinah is making her letho out of wool folk far too and she's running it with mohair so I have purchased some Isaiah mohair this is oh, color 62 mm -hmm. I've made a sweater in it before and um, and Dinah even sent she sent us like I don't know if these are, she split them in half, so half for me and half in Caitlin. So Caitlin and I are going to be twinning. Same colors. The exact same sweater, and then Dinah will have just a different base color, so we'll be a trio in oh, our Letho sweaters by Landscape. Moonstruck, Moonstruck oh Knits. Gosh. But oh. here it is, I just want to show you the halo, first of all. Oh, beautiful. I'll show you the whole thing if you haven't seen it, but this is, um, a brioche cuff and then there are welts and then slip stitch and then just stock in it and it's been it was oh my goodness this was cool. such a delight yeah. such a delight um, I used the little tiny circulars which made it so much easier to do the brioche and uh, and the I'm just amazed that my mental capacity is returned to be engaged and pleased by these details here. So I'm just enjoying it so much. But I do want to get it done by October 10th so we can contribute to Christy's video and be part of, you know, I love how she started airing those, um, you know, as a premiere and we'd all watch together. So I just can't wait to see what everybody's been doing. We miss everyone so much. So I um, want to see your your sweaters too. So I encourage you to contribute a video even if you haven't done that before. Um, it's it's just, a get, you know, Is it, you could overcome a... your fear or insecurity mm -hmm. and realize you're giving everybody a gift. And we all feel the same way, like excited, you know, or nervous or whatever, but you're the gift, you know. So let me just, well, let me finish well, showing okay, this sure. and then we'll go back to that. But here's the Moonstruck Knits, the Letho. So um, we're doing black and white the same, and then we just have that blush color. And Caitlin, I'm sure her yarn will be there as soon as she gets back from her her time in the blue, what are they called? The Blue, Blue Ridge, the Mountain. Blue Ridge Mountains, the Smoky Mountains. I don't know what mountains she's in. So here it is. Oh, um, it's just gorgeous. Just such mm. a spectacular pattern. It's just so much fun to knit. Um. Anyways, so that's. Well, I'm dying to know how you did ridges, but we'll talk about oh, that. Oh, welts. Off. Yeah, welts. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was not a big deal. It wasn't. No, okay. you just. You just. 
grab a pearl from the and then put it on the stitch and knit the two together. But whatever. Oh, okay. Anyway, so good. Was that your question? How no, my clothes? other question was is for Christie's um, video. Is that you? Can you do a landscape still picture, or does it have to be a video? I don't I mean, know. You don't I think know it's a video. Oh, okay. To be honest, I think it's okay. a video. Um, that would be interesting. You could message her on okay. Instagram yes, and ask. Right. But I, I, I feel like I'll, I'll she... link her video down below in the show notes talking about it all. But oh, okay. she didn't mention anything about oh, okay. stills. Um, so we have some exciting news, and I think, and we haven't even confirmed this, but since it's from us, we don't. I mean, we're. We're we are doing free it. to buy <laughs> gift certificates if we want, I think, so it's all good. Um, but it is Lily's knitting birthday, and it is also, that coincides when coincides with us having 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. Aww. So, yeah, so thank you so much for that. And we love, you know, just like I'm wearing a sweater that was given, you know, this yarn was given to me. I shared this yarn with my mother. This is this combination of yarn that was given to me and that I had. There's your knit collage yarn. You know, that, that sense, I love that so much. We mm -hmm. love to give things to you. So what we are going to do, we're going to do two giveaways, one for Lily's birthday and <laughs> one for our 6,000 subscribers. So um, I'll do one on Instagram and one here. So, and for what you might be wondering, well, Pittsburgh Mercantile, with oh, yes. Susie Core, mm. Debbie's sister, has an amazing shop, and it would be so great for you guys to check it out. So, and please feel free to enter on YouTube and enter on Instagram. They're two different giveaways, but you know you could win them both if you're, you know, who knows, who knows how lucky you could be. Um, so, anyways, it seems appropriate that we. Um, have the 6,000 subscriber giveaway announced on YouTube and here. So in order to be eligible for that, comment below this video and we will announce the winner of that when Caitlin and I record next. And I'll tell you what to comment about in just a second when I think of it. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be to win a gift certificate to Pittsburgh Mercantile that we are going to get for you. And um, I'm, we're going to offer two $50 gift certificates. So, and then Lily's like birthday present to all of you. How fun is that? We'll be on Instagram, and you'll want to follow Pittsburgh Mercantile to be eligible as well. And we'll give you all the deets once this is uploaded. You'll see something about it there. So two chances to win. And um, since we I only do one um, per format. Right, you yeah. don't enter 10,000 times because right. that kind of throws off the whole right. random number mm -hmm. generator and mm -hmm. your one chance is just as, as good, good as, as 10, you know, 10 chances. Mm -hmm. So just enter once. Um, but I'm gonna put, we, uh, we have to think about what you wanna say in the comment below about um, being, uh, to be eligible. Um, so, I'm just gonna pause for a second and see if something comes to me. And while we're, oh, I wanted to mention one other thing too. Um, I'll put it in the show notes, but this would only be if it uploads for you. If you watch this in the next couple of days, there's a fantastic summit that's going on about, um, about collective trauma and poetry. And all the poets are, you know, it's David White and, and um, the poet laureate of and whose name is escaping me right now but all their lectures are free so I'm gonna put those in our show notes as well um, so since it's our I think go ahead and we'll do a poetry themed giveaway so if you want to I know some of you are like oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> but if you want to write the name of a poet or the title of a poem um, anything that's moved you that you've come across, if you want to share the whole thing, great. But to be eligible, and you know, the Pittsburgh Mercantile, she has, not only does she have jewelry like this, and she has hand-knitted 
items. She oh, has drop cloth. She all oh, the drop Ooh, shawl uh, shawl. You got to check out the drop cloth shawl, and she, mm -hmm. but she has books and she has. Um, so check out yes. her website. But it, to be eligible to win on here, we're gonna make you do a little work and write down a poem, the name of a poem or the name of a poet that you enjoy. Um, and if if you're if you can't think of one, then just you know this gives you a chance to go out and discover one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's okay or just one that we've shared mm -hmm. I can tell you today's poem was breathing underwater so if you liked that and you want to be eligible you can simply write that there we've given you uh, mm -hmm. an option all right so just to recap we love you we're so thrilled you're here comment below to be eligible and there'll be an additional one on Instagram also keep your um, party your half wrap cow pictures coming yes and uh at the end of that giveaway we we'll, we also have some more pearl soho um to give to you and those of you who are our supporters on patreon we just thank you so much for that it, it's just really it's like this secret um it's this like little under support of love and we really appreciate it and we are definitely going to be using that to both share with all of you to enrich your lives and hopefully when we ha can travel to be able to see each other so we really appreciate that support. and then even Edinburgh at some point down the road I know Let's think big I know let's right? go right right you know when we can travel yes so congratulations on your year birthday Lily Thank and you. Good luck with your schooling. Yeah. That's Thanks. very exciting. And, and thank you, year. everybody, for the community that you've mm -hmm. made here. We are so appreciative. Yes, thank you very much. And off to make pumpkin chocolate chip or, muffins. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I, I include actually, we myself. Don't, I froze them all, so I don't actually have any pumpkin oh. out. I, oh. I forgot about oh. that. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. be on we to the next We could process thing. this little baby. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. If we get it done, we'll post it. Okay. okay. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye, -bye. You guys say something. I love everybody. It's good to be here. Okay. It's good to be here. This is the day she Hi. saved the day. <laughs> yes. She noticed that we didn't press record. <laughs> and we <laughs> started talking. The microphone was not attached. But now we have it all together. Yeah. Now we have it, you know, squared away. So this is Caddy Jack's Knits, sans yeah. Caitlin, who's in the Smoky Mountains in a cabin without internet connectivity right now yes. but we have our special regular contributors <laughs> sally and lily and i'm jackie Hi. good morning everybody thanks for joining us in it's this beautiful sunshine we have streaming in here. yeah it's uh september 8th, 20th 20th is that what it, it is 20th. okay september 20th mm -hmm. and we had some 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 fo's to share and some talk to share and uh and it's been quite a time, so we wanted... Uh, can we start over? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I feel...